Hello, I'm Dr. Martin Blaine. Come join me on a path to personal transformation. Say yes to you. Yes. <laughs> First of all, you should learn to be comfortable talking about yourself. When asked your name, you should say it loud and clear. Let's try this out. What's your name? That's a great name. <laughs> what is your primary goal? Harry Solomon. <laughs> Harry! Sally! Harry, come in here. What's that? Don't worry, we've killed it. <laughs> Sit down, we have to talk. What is it? There's an important detail that we forgot to attend to. We need birthdays. Oh, no, thank you. This guy I saw at a restaurant had a birthday. They set his food on fire and then blew on it. <laughs> well, nevertheless, we have to have them. And we have to know how old we are. For some reason, we're expected to act our age. And we don't even know what that is. How are we supposed to figure it out? Well, we're smart. We'll guess. How old would you say I am? I'm gonna say 35. Uh, <laughs> what's so funny? I don't know, it just kinda sounds ridiculous. Okay, 39. Hello. Come on, going. 40? Honestly. 40, 40 would. Uh, 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 five, 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 45. Okay. 45's fine. Body's broken in, still solid. Not too old to have sex. <laughs> uh, uh, Commander, permission to speak freely. Permission granted. Humans over 35 cannot have sex. No. Give it up, it's over. Well, 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 why? They have the same equipment. Because it's gross, that's why. Well, how old are you? 14. Well, can you have sex? Well, I'm not supposed to. Why not? Apparently, I have my whole life ahead of me. Dick, can I be 70? Why? Well, that Paul Newman guy is 70, and people are always saying that he looks great. Done. You're 70. And? You look great. <laughs> okay, Sally, how old are you? Well, whatever the perfect age is, I'm it. <laughs> I mean, maybe I got stuck with being a woman, but at least I'm in my prime. Check out how firm this is, huh? <laughs> you know, if I was a guy, I'd be all over me right now. <laughs> if I was a guy, I would be too. <laughs> Now that you boys are going through the road to manhood, I'm sure many of you have noticed certain feelings. What is it, Solomon? What kind of feelings? You don't kind of feelings. No, I, I don't. You know them when you get them. Huh? Now, they're perfectly normal. For God's sake, don't act on them. Uh, sorry, you're, you're losing me. You play sports, you focus on your schoolwork, and when you take a shower, you wash your hair and get the hell out of there. <laughs> Yes. Great! Great! Tell me exactly how it's done. Well, your uh, man and your male and your female, they have these certain parts that are, uh, how do you call, uh, complementary to each other. <laughs> these parts come into play. And that's how we all were born. I'm sorry, but can we get somebody who's actually had sex to teach this class? <laughs> Thanks for showing me around the campus today. You know, you are really a lot of fun. I know. <laughs> Lori, I was having a discussion with a young man last night. He said that someone my age was too old to... Well, just too old. That is so typical of our culture. You know, in, in many ancient societies, like the Incas, age was worshipped and revered. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> exactly when does puberty end for a man? Six months after death. 